an XL bully dog is a danger to our communities, particularly our children. I share the nation's horror at the recent videos we've all seen. Yesterday, we saw another suspected XL bully dog attack, which has tragically led to a fatality. It's clear this is not about a handful of badly trained dogs. It's a pattern of behavior and it cannot go on. While owners already have a responsibility to keep their dogs under control, I want to reassure people that we are urgently working on ways to stop these attacks and protect the public. Today, I have tasked ministers to bring together police and experts to firstly define the breed of dog behind these attacks with a view to then outlawing it. It is not currently a breed defined in law, so this vital first step must happen fast. We will then ban the breed under the Dangerous Dogs Act and new laws will be in place by the end of the year. These dogs are dangerous. I want to reassure the public that we will take all necessary steps to keep people safe. At the weekend's horrifying um, footage emerged of an 11 year old girl and two men being attacked by a dog in Birmingham. This has led to calls for the controversial XL bully breed to be banned in Britain. Dog owners, on the other hand, say they make wonderful pets and blame poor breeders and poor owners for the aggression that the dogs are showing. XL bully dogs are synonymous with um, the hip hop scene in the 1990s. Um, they're relatively new to Britain, but extremely popular in America already. Experts say in America, the dogs come from quite a big gene pool. In Britain, the dogs have been brought in from America and bred and bred and bred to become more aggressive. It isn't illegal to breed dogs, but there are some nefarious breeders out there who are breeding them especially to be dangerous. The dogs aren't particularly well looked after. They call it backyard breeding. It still feels like it's not real. I still feel like he's going to walk around the corner any second. I still feel like he's going to shout my my name or mum from upstairs. But I know it is real. And it's hard to get my head around every day. Originally, I thought maybe it's not the breed and it's the owners and the breeders who are doing it. And I still agree that it's the owners and the breeders. They are responsible for their dogs. And if these are dogs are attacking people, then they're at fault. But this breed is responsible for, I think it's over 70% of attacks and they're a small percentage of the dog population. So when people say it's not the breed, it's very much the breed. If Jack was attacked by a Jack Russell or a small dog, I can guarantee you he'd be next to me. Experts are particularly worried about legal breeders mixing XL bully dogs with banned pit bulls. Pit bulls are banned under the Dangerous Dogs Act, but the act has proven difficult to enforce since it was introduced in 1991. One of the pit bull mixes specialists are particularly worried about is a, is called a gator mouth pit bull, and it's been bred for fighting and it's an especially aggressive dog. These pit bulls have particularly strong jaws, built for fighting, known for dog fighting, and experts are worried that this is what they're being used for in Britain for underground fighting. But then, of course, they go out on the streets on leads with owners who are perhaps n not as well trained as they should be when they're taking them.